ceramic coat delta textile medium. Um, this is a, I believe this is an eight ounce bottle. It's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to $15, depending on where you get it. You can certainly look on Amazon. That is my commercial recommendation. However, I do make my own. This is my pearlescent. Uh, and that reason alone is one of the reasons I started making it. I like to see things shimmer. And if you all have ever seen my work, you know that that's a, a, a very important part of what makes my art. However, I also make a plain version of my fabric medium. So you see these lovely little berries, um, and that's what I'm going to call them. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And so what I want to do is I want to color those berries, and I actually want to do it with my Inktense pencils. <clears throat> but how am I going to get in there with a brush and get those tiny little areas without having uh, making a ton of mistakes? Here's the easiest way I know possible. And actually, let me move this on to the other side so that you can see this so I don't get my fat hand in the way. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil tip and you're actually just going to dip it ever slightly and get a bit of fabric medium on the tip. Then you're gonna come in and just color ever so slightly. And this may last you two or three berries and then in fact, it only lasted two. Dip again, come in, rub just the head against there, okay? Same thing here. And you'll repeat and continue to do that until you have all of the berries done. Um, don't try to do this with a brush. You'll drive yourself nuts. If we were in class, I probably would have had you do this either with a gel pen or a fabric marker but this way works quite well as, as, as you know, to, to be able to, if you have no other tool and you've only got your Inktense pencils, this is what you would do. Now, the other thing you can do with, with, with a coloring just like what I've done there, and I'm gonna come in here and then dip it into the fabric medium, and let's just come down and rub it. Now notice I'm, I'm not putting all the color down. I'm just putting some of the color down. And let's just get these few right here so that I can show you then what to do. Then you're going to come in and grab your brush. Now if your brush is dry, get ever so slight bit of fabric medium on it. And then start going over where you just laid that color down. It actually helps to blend, and that way you can see you're getting a kind of a, a, a dark to light effect, a gradient effect. But you were able to get in that little area first with the pencil and lay the color down. Particularly when I see these tiny little itty bitty areas, um, inevitably beginners tend to want to color it um, broadly uh, rather than focusing on each individual petal. And I think by pulling out your color and putting it in each individual petal and then blending it out. Now, I want, let me point this out right here. See this little area that goes down into the heart of the petal? I, I can't get in there with a brush. So uh, once again, this is where I'm going to dip my pencil tip into the fabric medium. You can see I've got some there. And I'm just going to come in and go over that and darken that up as much as possible. I may even come in here and do the same here. So every place where it kind of dips down, I'm going to come back in and color. Now watch your tip carefully. If it needs to be sharpened, you can sharpen it. And people always ask me, what's the best pencil sharpener? Absolutely, the honest answer I can give you is go to Family Dollar, go to the school supply section, buy one of those little teeny tiny little grade school pencil sharpeners and use that. Now, that brings me to my next tip. Let me pause and stay tuned.